Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. Today we are going to learn about the push notifications using the Notify in the React Native. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So let me refresh my application. So I need to just go to the terminal and see settings. Settings I have added the code. Okay. Now reload the application and here we go with the code. So here we have the notification section. Now you see, allow Redux Saga to send the push notification. This is on the latest Android phone that is Android 13. So I will let you know that how to configure that push notification to receive in the Android 13. I have already uploaded the videos also, but now we I can also display that one. Okay. So first we have to allow the notifications. Okay, then display notification. Currently, you can see that on my screen, there is no notification. Then display notifications. And on the top of that, you can see that we have a notification, notification title, body of the notification. Okay, you can see that, right? So how we are going to do that? Let's have a look. Okay, so here we have the code level. So I will full-fledged code level I have already written. So first, we have the React and the US effect from the React. View button permissions Android platform from the React Native. So notify from the React Native, right? So first we check whether we have a platform Android, then we will check the permissions with the post notifications. Post notifications basically for the Android 13. So make sure you have added over here. And this is gonna be done in the Android manifest.xml also. So you need to check in the Android manifest.xml. So post notification, Android permissions, post notifications, got it? Okay, so after adding this one, <clears throat> that pop up will come up like uh, do you want to allow the notifications or not okay and then we are using the use effect and we are calling that check applications permissions okay first part is done then we have the next view part that is a display notification so we have a button okay so back on display notifications so on display notifications we are going to create a channel with the default id and channel default name of the channel and here we have going to display the notification section Okay, so notification title, body of the notification, Android, channel ID, and the small icon. So by default, I have the IC underscore launcher. This is a by default notification icon. You are seeing that the right in the green part. Okay, I will show you what you know that part, right? So this is the icon you can see, the small one with the green one. Okay, so this icon is basically for the IC launcher. So I have added that one. If you have something you want to customize the icon, you can customize that part also. Okay. And then we have the use effect, then the return and the export default app. By using this one, you are able to successfully do the push notifications in React Native with the help of the Notify, right? Isn't easy? So just do let me know in the comment section that is it better for instead instead of the Firebase or the because we have so many things we have to do in the Firebase, like do this, that is not working or something. So is it better from that one? So do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.